That's good, Coach. I am Stefan. I kickbox, um, and today I'm going to show you how to properly throw a jab. All right, so you want to start off in your fighting stance, as always. You want to make sure that your fist is properly, um, you know, ripped, I guess you could say. You will always want to have your thumb beneath this part of your hand, because otherwise, if you have it up here, when you punch, you could break your thumb, and you don't want that, especially in a street fight. So you have your hands up by your face, you, your elbows are in, and the jab is pretty simple. You just want to transfer your weight, you want to step let's forward. See, let's see that step. You want to step with this this front foot, whatever, if you're southpaw, you throw like this. With, with, you throw with it, with a, you throw it. With, with your front foot. Okay. Your front foot. With your front foot. And you want to court it. What? Court spirit. So you want to throw it with your leading foot of that hand. If that makes sense. So what you want to do, you step, you let this back foot follow, alright? Transfer your weight, you throw all your weight into it, because no matter what weight you are, if you transfer your weight, it'll be a lot more effective on the street. So you just want to transfer it, bring it back right away. Make sure you get full extension. Watch how the hand comes all the way out, right back here, right back to your original position. And quick squeal line. Okay, I just wanted to show yeah. one thing. One way to increase the speed of your jab is like something with pan weights in here. You want to show them? Yeah, shadow you box. You shadow box with these. And, and wait, hold on, shadow box in like front of a mirror. Yeah, you can shadow box in front of a mirror, wherever in your house. And when you throw the jab, you want to like corkscrew it in, so you hit with like these two right, knuckles. The first two knuckles, like that because you get that nice whipping motion with yeah. the jab. So you, yeah, you want to whip your jab out like all the way. Okay, now we're going to show you, this is uh, a weapons segment, but before we do that, I just want to show you a quick takedown that's very easy, that a smaller person can use it, a larger person, or vice versa. But all it is is you can, you get in under the person, so under their arm like this. All your weight is on the foot behind him, okay? And you just bring this foot that's in the back, regardless if it's your right or left, and sweep him. It's, all, it's so easy and it's quick. And see, now he's down and you can do whatever you want. Get him in an arm bar. Also, the, the other way you can do that is, if he's standing over there, standing right there, and you just walk through, and you can run, pick him up, slam him, or wait, come back again. It's, it's pretty much that same thing. You run, you grab this first leg, and sweep the second leg. And he's down, okay? So stand back up. And now we're going to show you this, the weapons. First, we're going to do it with the gun. We don't have a real gun. We don't need him getting killed, okay? So let's get up close. Make sure you show. So he's, he, we're, there's a lot of technique in this. And in this case, he's, he's holding it with his left hand. So that it's going to switch it up because he's a lefty. So what you want to do is, you t he's using his left hand, so that means my left hand is going to be closer to his body. So what I want to do is my left hand is going to come right here on his the joint, on his elbow, okay? Like that, see that? So my hand is going to come right here, and my right hand is going to be the hand that's going to smack the gun away from me. So in slow motion, what's going to happen is you're standing here, you're just talking, and he's behind you, like this, okay? Here, here, and the gun goes away. Okay, now let's see that a little faster. You're standing here, flipping around, and you see some, and the gun's away from you, and then now boom, and you beat the shit out of him. Okay, now that's with both hands. So now let's try it with the right hand. So it's the same thing. He's holding his right hand, my right hand's going closer to him. Left hand's swinging the gun away. So we're standing here, like that, okay? Now the next one, it's going to be a knife. This is a small knife, so if someone on the street, this is just, this is a knife, okay? So he has the knife, and there's a bunch of different ways. The first one is usually the, the, the most common when someone's coming down, like, trying to slash you over top. Either regard, like, either like this, trying to get you right here, or like that, trying to slice you, depending on what he has, okay? So let's start off like this. Now, this only works, this is the, the cross. If he's coming straight overhead, trying to hit you right in the head, the cross like that, see? The knife stopped, and then you can swing it away. And the knife's out, and hit him in the arm, 
in the face again and he's down. But what you want to make sure, regardless if it's a knife, a bat, any kind of weapon, whether it's a blunt object or with a blade, you always move towards the blade because that decreases the distance he has and the control over you. Remember, so, the farther it is, the more power. If you're yeah. all the way up close, it's not as much power. He's over here swinging. He's got a lot more speed and power. But if I'm in here, he can't, he can't get his arm fully extended, and that limits him. And it's, the, op to buy it's the opposite of what you would think, so you want to do so, that. So let's try that again. We're just standing here, and he's, and he's coming on top. He can't sweep away. Nice out. See, now he's down, and he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't have his weapon that gave him all the power. Now the next one is coming from the side, so he's in the slashing motion now. What? See, now he's swinging on his left side. In, you block, sweep. See, and, and see his his arm. He's he's in a bad position right there. So this is the same move. In, sweep. Okay. And then look, he's bent down, bent down again like that. You kick knee right to the face, and he's done. Okay. Now that works for the other side also. So if you're here, grab it, get the, get the knife away from you, okay? Knife or gun, just get get it away from you so you can do something to him without that knife. Okay. okay, now this is for a bat, a club, any kind of long, where there's long, short, like this bat, any kind of bludgeoning weapon that, he's, that he's, someone's coming running at you with, anything. You do the same thing where you move in. And in this case, since it's not a blade, I mean, I wouldn't want to try to grab it, but what, I mean, you're going to have to block it, block, like this. And so, I mean, these are stronger bones instead of getting hit in the chest. But what you want to do is, if he's swinging, like come over two hands, or one hand, just swing over. See how it, go like that. See how his arm's in? You want to move in. So, if he's swinging, swing, in. See, you know where it is? And where I am, I stop the swing, and he's moving so fast, and if I stop that, he's most likely going to let go of this, because he's not expecting to. Or, yeah, or you can come in, and then just break his arm right here. Because it's going against the joints and everything, and if you hit hard enough, the knee, you can break that, that very easily, and then he's done. He is disabled. Now this, this swing, he's coming like, like a, yeah, coming down on you. And this is, you just most kind of evade it. You need to stay away from it. It's hard to get in because he's using both his hands, so there's nothing really to grab and to avoid getting hit. So if he's coming, just watch, evade, and you can do anything you, anything you need to. I mean, it's, it's very hard to, in most...